my name is Emily, and today I'm back with a new episode of Cooking with Emily. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate-covered pretzels. So, the ingredients you're going to need are frosting. Now, you can use chocolate, like I said, or candy melts. I just prefer uh, pink frosting. First, you will need pretzels. You will need a spoon. A bowl and also you'll need some sort of fancy plate. Now you can also use a baking tray with um, wax paper but I just um, since I don't want to make a lot I'm just using a plate. So let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first open your frosting like usually. It's hard. <laughs> Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your spoon and you're going to get a little bit. Not, I mean, it depends on how much you want to make. So I'm just going to get this much, maybe a little more. I'm just going to put it in my bowl. I might actually put a little more. I don't think this is enough. I'm going to make about 10, maybe 20. And this you can leave. Don't put it in the sink yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to take this, put it in the microwave for 20 to 15 to 20 seconds. I took my frosting out of the fridge. I mean, out of the microwave. Ugh. And it's all melted. And kind of um, take your spoon that you used before and kind of mix it around. Oh, and I put it for 15 minutes, I mean 15 seconds, but you can also put it for 10 seconds depending on how strong your microwave is. Mine's kind of weak. <laughs> so, yeah. It's going to mix it up and kind of like hard liquid, I guess. Anyways. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to take one of my pretzels, right here, and I'm going to dip it in my mix, just like this, kind of make it drip out, like this, maybe shake it, tap it a little bit, kind of coat it around. So yeah, anyways, that looks good. And you're going to put it on your plate and kind of arrange it nicely. Oh, and if you didn't get, this is a basic step, but if you didn't get how to do it, um, basically you just take a pretzel, uh, take your dip, and just like that. And it should look good. And you can, you can add more frosting how much you want. I just do the top, not the whole coat. But anyways, I'm just going to put that nicely. And so I'm going to keep doing that, and I'm going to get back to you when I am done. So, yeah. You can see I have finished all my pretzels. And what you can do is add sprinkles or um, colored sugar. So I'm going to... I'll uh, show you some cool tricks to make it different colors. So yeah, let me, let me show you. The decoration you can use is colored sugar. And I have a bunch of different colors right here. About four different colors. And so I'm just going to take the one that's not pinks. So it'll show up. So I'm going to take purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle a few of them. Just like that. Just like that. And so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'll just show you right now. I have this pretzel right here, and I'm just going to take my purple sprinkle, or colored sugar, and just kind of dazzle it. And bam! It's pretty, pretty pretzels. Yeah, and the second idea you can do is um, take some of these candy hearts. And then you're going to take one of them, and you're going to put it on like a messy one that you really don't like. 
They're kind of like, but not really good. Mine is this one. So I'm just going to take it and put it right in the middle. And it just says, um, I'm in love. I'm just going to kind of center it. And bam. Your very own sprinkles. And also, what I like to do with these, I don't know why, but I take some of different color sugar, or colored sugar, and just bedazzle it more. The same color as the heart. So yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish these, and yeah. Finished all of my pretzels, as you can see. They look so cute. And if you want to, you can just, oh, and also I want to say I added these cookie crisps. Those are cereals, just to top it off. I really like it. And yeah, I, wow, I like this one. <laughs> anyway, uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to put them in the fridge for about 15 or 20 to 30 minutes. And they should be good and ready to go. Next time, bye. <laughs>